I guess so. Scarfing done. 131 grams of carbs of cereal. Before I make my commute to Ontario. Absolutely demolished this bowl of cereal. Now I'm going to take these and drive. Seeing, you know, it's a pressure. It's based off of pressure. So you can up the pressure and lower the pressure. There's like a ton of machines like that here. There's like a bunch of them. I've never seen this before. The Loki, I tried out the back one. It's pretty nice. Like I think it feels nice. So if you ever have one of these in your gym, you Loki, use it. See how you like it.
Man, you just tell me whatever and I'll... Yeah, I'll follow man. Alright, so, um... Basically what I'm gonna help you with is the, um... What would be the mandatories? Um, especially like in classic physique. Uh, I know there's a lot of like cool poses that people like to do, you know, disease pose and stuff like that. I don't, I don't do that. We'll, we'll do like what the mandatories are. So we'll get them to start with those. Um, first, I want to kind of like see what your what your understanding of like what the poses look like. Mm -hmm. um, so um, let's see you hit a uh, a front uh, a front double bicep. Front double bicep. Yeah. Now let's do a side chest. Okay. Let's do a back double bicep. Okay. All right, go ahead and relax. All right, so we'll first work on the front double bicep and kind of how you did it. Is it gonna have you stand straight? So, every single pose. This is what um, Dennis James always says. From the toes to the hair. You always wanna think. Because remember I told you, a lot of times when people do a front double bicep, they're thinking of only, oh man, they're looking at my biceps and how heat my biceps are. No. They're looking at your legs, they're looking at how it all ties in, they're looking at how your physique all flows together. So in order for this, because like this, I'm gonna give you a rough example. How does this pose? You see how I'm I'm clearly doing something with my legs? How does it look compared to this? Right? You clearly see a difference, mm -hmm. like in the in just how my physique is flowing together. Mm -hmm. So that's why. A lot of people, when they hit a pose, they just, they think of the word that they hear, bicep. And they put all their effort into the bicep. And they're kind of like, they, they don't know what they're doing with their legs. Uh -huh. So let's start with the, from the ground up. So kind of, I'll just do, we'll just do a basic one. Um, we're just going to have your, let's have your feet just straight forward. And we're just going to have you put one foot out a little bit. Actually, so, so like feet, feet like this. Then put one foot to the, just... No, no, keep it straight right now. Just put it out a little bit. Then kind of like do a twist. So the reason why we do this twist is because you see, like in the mirror, see how my hamstring looks? Mm -hmm. See how much bigger it just got? Yeah. So that's why you, we kind of you do little things like that. Exactly. So it's more like a, um, you play baseball? No. Okay, well in baseball, like you, we called it uh, killing the roach. And it's basically when you kind of like just did a little twist with your foot. So it actually can be like standing on the tip of it, mm. and then just do like a slight twist. There you oh, go. Yes. Just something like that. Yeah, we'll just do something a little bit easy. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to lean on this leg a little bit. Lean on this one, the right one? On this one, yeah. So imagine, so we're going to stand up straight. We're going to we'll reverse. So stand up straight. We're going to kick this foot out. We're going to twist it a little bit. And then we're going to lean a little bit on this foot, on this leg, on this one. On this one? There you go. You're going to lean a little bit on this one, and then you're going to yeah, hit your front double bicep, but I'll show you what you're doing. So you want to make sure, one, I have you focus on your hands. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your hands like this. Like this? Yeah, because I'll show you. There's a difference between doing a front double bicep like this, and then when you twist it, my, fat, my body fat percentage is a little bit high. You probably can see it a little bit better on yours, but I'll do that, and then I'll twist your Twist your uh, hands backwards like this. Like this? Like that, exactly. Not not so much your chest. So have your chest out. Just Alright guys, this is a random cut in the middle of the video after the posing. Um, basically, uh, my camera was cutting out that whole posing session. So I don't really have like a long clip of me being taught how to pose. But this is just kind of like a sum up. This is kind of like the first half of what um, he taught me for posing. It's like this is the beginning. So I'm, I'm going to cut it right there. Um, you guys at least saw a little bit of what he taught me. He taught me a lot more, but obviously the camera was just cutting in and out. But yeah, I just want to put this in another preface, you know.
it randomly cutting off. All right, guys. Um, you know, I can only have such a good angle on this clip. So you guys are going to get what you get. Um, first of all, first and foremost, I want to thank Matt for helping me with every single thing that he taught me today. Um, this has been a long, like long time in the making. I've been DMing this, this man for so long, asking him when he's available, when we can do this, because I want to get serious about posing. I want to, you know, he was talking about it in the video, classic physique, ultimate goal. Like I would love to start doing that one day. And I think right now the only thing is, the only problem I have right now is my physique. That's the only problem I have. And I felt that if I could tighten up posing and stuff like that, and, and there's some things I could learn from a two-time classic physique champ, there is a lot that I could learn. Um, he taught me a ton. Uh, you guys, I'm, I'm probably not going to put it all in, but who knows. Um, but yeah, first and foremost, want to thank him. Um, right now it is 1145. I have an assignment due at 159 and I am 50 minutes away from my house. Um, so I'm going to probably have to hit the road soon, but, um, yeah, seriously guys, this is the first video back and I think four weeks or some dumb shit like that. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I'm probably going to start switching up the videos a little bit. I don't want to keep doing the same thing I always do. I don't think it's that entertaining, but, um, Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I hope you guys learned a few things. Who knows? Um, hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Um, I couldn't also record. I think I probably put it in the clip of me going from the house to the gym. Um, I'm not in my car. My car is having tire pressure sensor issues. So it says my back right tire has 70 p PSI and the front left has 20 PSI. So like, dude, I need to get that checked out tomorrow. Wanted to take a safer car. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, DM me on Instagram if you guys need anything. Comment on my TikToks if you need anything. Snapchat me if you need anything. I really appreciate all you guys watching these. Um, without you guys, I'd probably be extremely demotivated if I had zero views. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to sip on my water and eat my Haribo Gold Bears on the way home so I can at least not have my glycogen storage die. Thank you guys so much. I love you all.